guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be unbagging my May Ipsy bag and then I'm going to be reviewing my April Ipsy bag as well. For those of you that don't know, Ipsy is a $10 a month subscription service where you get usually um, four to five sample, deluxe sample size, sometimes full size beauty products. It's $10 a month, did I say that? I don't know. I think it's totally worth it. I love Ipsy. I get several subscription boxes and Ipsy has quickly become one of my favorites. I just think you get so much bang for your buck. Um, how to sign up for Ipsy will be down below. But anyways, let's just dive into reviewing last month's bag. This was it. I really, really liked it. I thought it was really cute. I love tie-dye and bright colors. I thought it was super cute and I love the teal zipper on the top. Um, the first couple things I got I don't have with me actually because I used them. We got two Pure Lease sheet masks. I love they included two. I think it's great when um, subscription services include two um, sheet masks or you know really small things so you can really tell if you're going to like it. The sheet masks were nice. I love getting sheet masks in subscription services. I like them over other masks because when you're done with the sheet mask you kind of rub the product into your skin so your skin just really absorbs everything instead of you know washing it away so I really liked it I didn't notice that it did anything like super um, amazing for my skin but my skin felt really hydrated and supple and smooth afterwards I'll insert a picture of it around here and then I'll put the link to it down below but I really did enjoy those sheet masks so next we'll dive into the real products that I have to show you first thing we got was this Luxie what is it called the Luxie 522 tapered highlighting brush I love this brush um first of all it is adorable I love the gold barrel up there and the cute purplish bluish color down there. Um, I didn't have any brush that looks like this in my collection so I was really really excited to get this. It is perfect for highlighting getting exactly you know where you want to be highlighted and um, I love this. I have been using it non-stop. I think it is a great brush. I really enjoy these brushes. We get the, quite a bit in subscription services but I will not complain. This was an awesome brush. Next up another amazing product I got was the City Color um, Highlighting Trio. This is amazing. Um, you get three highlighters. I'm not the biggest fan of this like yellowy, yellowy, yellowy gold shade, but I use the other two like crazy. Um, I think this retails for eight dollars or something like that so to get it in a ten dollar a month subscription service is really pretty incredible and as you can see they're really pigmented and gorgeous I have been loving this I think it's such a great deal and again to get it in a ten dollar a month subscription service is just awesome next thing I got that I wasn't the biggest fan of is a perfume this is the Juliet has a gun perfume um I don't know it's just not a scent that I I really like. I tried to wear it a few times and I just, mm -mm, it just was not for me. So um, I maybe we'll see if my mom will like this. I'll try to pass it on to a friend, but yeah, this was not a win for me and it didn't last that long on, which I wasn't that mad about because I didn't care for the scent. But you know, for someone that does like the scent and want it to last a while, I didn't feel like this really lasted quite a long time. And I do like that it has a pump, but other than that, I wasn't a fan. And last but not least, we got a Tarte Lip Surgeons in the shade Wonder. I love these. I have a couple of them. They smell like mint. I don't have this color though, so I was really happy about that. It's just a great um, kind of pinky, mauve kind of looks similar to what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Actually, I am wearing Marc Jacobs Kiss Kiss Bang Bang on my lips, but it looks really similar. Actually, I'm just washing them next to each other because... I'm curious. Wow, they're like identical. So, um, this is Marc Jacobs Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, and then this is the Tarte Lip Surgeons in Wander. So, they are very, very similar. Um, but I love the color of this, and I love the formula of these and the scent, so I was really happy to get this. So, that was everything I got in my April bag. Loving four out of the five products I think is awesome. Um, last month, Ipsy was a really good month for me. So I am excited to see what May has to bring. So I have not peeked. I have no idea what's in here. So we are just going to dive right in, maybe. Okay. Ooh, ooh, losing stuff. Ooh, the bag is really cute this month. 
Okay, so it looks like the theme is Destination Chic by Ipsy. Looks like it's supposed to be like a little postcard. It says greetings from. It's really cute. I love the bag this month. It's really different. I am guessing the theme is like traveling because um, you've got you know, different um, landmarks from around the world. And I love that it is a little snap instead of a zipper. That is so cute and different. Um, and the feel is really nice. It's like vinyl -y? Not vinyl. No, I'm not describing that right. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's also a really good size. I love this. I think it is adorable. So let's dive in and let's look at the products. I've got another brush and it is adorable. It is from the brand Slimmest Glam. I don't know. I'll have it linked below. Um, and it is their small contour brush W07. This is what it looks like. It has a really cute white handle. The lettering is in gold. It has a great gold barrel. It has some cute little accent um, diamonds. And the tip of this looks really similar to the Wet n Wild brushes. Which I have one right here. Um, it's a little bit more of a hot pink. But same idea with the white on the bottom and then the pink on the top. Um, yeah, I'm excited to try this um, for contouring. I've never used a brush like this for contouring, and I don't have a brush like this in my collection right now, so I'm really excited to try this. This also could be used for highlight, um, so definitely multi-purpose. Next thing I got is a piece, and it is a hydrating mask. I'm probably murdering that brand name, but that's what it looks like. It says, moisten skin with lukewarm water, apply to entire face while avoiding the sensitive areas around eyes, leave on for approximately 15 to 20 minutes, and with warm water, gently rinse face, wipe off mask residue with a washcloth or cotton pad. Um, so it doesn't really say what it's supposed to do since it's hydrating. I'm guessing it's supposed to hydrate. Um, I love, love getting masks in subscription services. So I'm really excited to try this, and it's definitely a good size. Like, I can probably get... I don't know, probably like 10 uses out of this. So it's definitely a very, very good size. Let's open it up and smell it and see what it looks like. Oh, so it is green, which I was not expecting. Um, I don't know if you guys are able to tell. It's a very light, pale green. Um, but that's what it looks like. Mm, it smells good. I don't know how to describe it. Almost minty? I don't know. I'm really excited to try this. Ooh, this looks like a full size, which is awesome. And it is from the brand Hikari. I've gotten a few things from them before. And it is their Shimmer Bronzer in the shade Radiant. I'm not a huge fan of shimmers in my bronzers or any of my face products, actually. But let's see. Oh, interesting. It's like a little quad. So that's what it looks like. It's really pretty. It's got like two golds, a pink, and a bronze. So I'm just going to try and kind of swirl it all together and see the color that we get. I don't know about this for a bronzer. It's very gold. Um, I will probably most likely use these as eyeshadows, like individually. This is just way too like gold for me as a bronzer. The powders feel really nice. I really like this shade right here as a bronzer. I just wish it was like bigger so that I could fit my brush in there but I don't know just swirled all together it's way too gold and sheeny for me as a bronzer. I think if you had a deeper skin tone this would be really really pretty for you but for me uh, I don't know. Alright next up we got a lip balm. It is the Lavender Moisture Rich Hydrating Balm. I'm usually I'm not the biggest fan of lavender scents. I just don't really like it um, but let's see if this has a really strong scent or not Ugh. yep nope I just don't like lavender it's really strong I don't know I'll try it out um, maybe you can't really smell it once it's on your lips but I don't know something about lavender I am just not a fan of alright and last but not least we are getting a sample size Smashbox x-rated mascara really excited to try this I have not yet Let's see what the wand looks like the wand is very interesting it's very spiky and kind of um, separated it's not a very full wand it only has like three 
things. I feel like it's a good formula. I like the consistency of it, and I like the looks of the brush, so I'm really excited to try this. All right, well, that was everything I got in my May box. I'm really excited to try the mask, really excited to try the brush, and really excited to try the mascara. Not so excited about the lip balm or the Hakari bronzer, just because of the color for my skin tone, I don't think is going to be quite right, but I will definitely give all these products a fair share. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my review on all these products next month. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video today. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!